Hey guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to receive an inbound order using the new web version of the receive inbound order process. So this is assuming you've gone through um, scheduling an order. You know how to use the inbound order list view, and you're just going to go over and click a particular order you need to receive. So potentially, you know, order hits the docs, you're going to click 4318. And you'll be able to see that order now in this case we're going to hit um, receive click it and hit receive it's going to open up the new receive inventory page and you can see here that at the top right there's an information dialog modal box you'll be able to click it you can see any work instructions bill lading attachments pictures uh, maybe there's some internal comments or any information uh, this is where you would fill that out and update the information. Now, since we haven't received any items, um, we're going to start the receipt process. So on the main screen, you could see a grid with all your commodities. And this will be filtered accordingly um, if you had specific restrictions on the contract. Now, we're going to click Quick. And Quick is going to show you the most commonly received items um, in the system. So the more you receive them, the more it'll be uh, higher at the top of this list. So if I do mixed electronics, I weigh up 875 pounds, 45, uh, 40 pound tear, and then we select the Gaylord box. Um, you can start the receiving process, indicate some notes, and select if this is going to be work in progress. You could take a picture if you have a camera, webcam ready. If you hit show all work uh, workflows, you'll be able to you know move something to say to iTad. And then uh, you'll hit accept and that's gonna print now next you could either do a uh, repeat here and when you click repeat it'll show you the same item and we'll say this is 775 now if you have any scales connected uh, we can pull the scale weights automatically which make, make it very convenient um, now if you forgot to print or you want to edit an item you could swipe left hit print and that's going to print to uh, one of your available printers. Now, if you need to edit the item, you could click swipe left, hit edit, take picture, or repeat. Uh, so these are all good options. Now, probably if the item is not in your list, easily accessible, you could do a search. And let's say you wanted to look for uh, hard drives, you could just do a quick search for hard drives, select it, and indicate there's you know 275 pounds of drives um, we'll say there's 250 drives available here now we're gonna send that over to audit take a picture hit accept now you can see here we have a count of three items eight, eight, 1805 pounds of material available now if that's everything you need you can hit receive order um, you know, another option you might want to look at is grouping. So if you group things by batteries or different type of options, shred output, uh, you'd be able to see those different groups. Once done, you're going to hit receive complete. That's going to change the status you order to received. And if you want to, you could print one of your receiving reports and different things like that. Now you would hit the back button to uh, escape out. And then you could see here that order that we just uh, received in is marked received. Now, one of the things we didn't uh, discuss here is you do have the option to take photos. Uh, so if you hit take picture, that'll open up your webcam. And this whole new version is available in the iOS and Android platform. So you just have to go to the Android store or the iOS store to download and look up RazorERP.com and that'll allow you to do this full receiving process. So that's how you use the new receiving page.